be young and in love in New York City. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And I'm going to be showing you guys around my campus here at Murrieta. But um, yeah, at CCBC. Um, I looked and looked online when I first came here, like, of videos, oh my gosh, I want to see around the campus, and I didn't really see that many. I saw, like, little snippets of stuff, but I was like, but what about the actual campus? Like, what does it look like? What activities do we do? Um, you know, stuff that's not included, <laughs> stuff that's not in the Temecula area, but, like, stuff that's just only in the college campus. So I'm, I'm going to be the one to show you guys that, you know, because I remember I just wanted to see that too if you're a guest, if you're thinking about coming here, or you're just curious. Yeah, so just join me along. We're going to take a look around the campus, see what's here, but I'll see you guys in the next scene. So we'll start off with what's right here. This is called The Ruins, and I had no idea what this was until I got here. <laughs> and it's basically a spot where nobody uses. That's why they call it The Ruins, but it's a nice quiet time place. Then right here you have like this, I don't know, it's like a little back road. Okay, you guys, I'm trying to get out of the wind, but like, it's a little back road. Here's like the view. It has like a, a, a little hill right here. Um, it leads to the lodges down there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. It's like a, a nice jogging trail, I would say, or if you want to take a walk, there's a shortcut through it. This is like where the retreaters stay in these lodges, Lakeside, Fellowship, and Harmony. And right here is the prayer chapel. You can just come here and get prayer, or I think, I believe they have nights of prayer here. Then if you walk a little further down, here is the lake. I'm not sure about like the width or anything of it, but they have tons of pretty, pretty spots where you can just come and you can sit down on a bench, have reflection. I thought I would mention this view too. It has a really beautiful view. You get all the palm trees, like surrounded by tons of them here. And if we go into this little entrance right here, here is the little beach area. And of course we don't usually get on the water. <laughs> I would but um, yeah, that's what the hot springs are actually for. Which, speaking of the hot springs, here's one of the hot springs right here. Typically, when the hot springs, we usually use them on the weekdays because, like, the weekends, the retreaters and stuff use the hot springs. But yeah, usually in the evening time, it's nice just to go relax and rewind, unwind. Here is the volleyball court. We, um, there's like tournaments and stuff on the weekends, usually on Fridays, and they'll play, um, there's really no like reward, it's just whoever wins, <laughs> but it's fun to watch, and it's also more of like a social event, so, yeah, and they have also other events like soccer tournaments as well, and, um, basketball, I believe, but yeah, it's just a fun thing to watch, um, volleyball on the weekend of this gate here is the um, Roman spa and this is the one that I really enjoy the most especially in the evening times it's warm not crowded and you can come here with your friends or or with your retreaters and just also unwind like look how pretty that is I'm not going in there because I obviously don't have my bathing suit on but it's really nice here is where like my dorm is. Yeah, this is where they keep the girls. And then across, they keep the boys over there. I believe it used to be like a different places that they would have for the boys, but they switched them to over here this year. Out here, there's just like some lounge chairs. This is still the boys' dorm. Across the street is the main lobby and also the student dining areas over here. And the top where the windows are, the top where the windows are, are like where the dining area for the guests go. The retreaters, they eat up there. But the um, dining areas are like connected now, and so we get the same food that they do, which is really good. It's not bad food at all. Here is like the little strip, we'll call it. Um, right there toward the end, let me see. You can leave out the campus. You can even walk and just like walk across the street to the gas station. But yeah, down there is campus support, and um, you'll just pull your car up there, they'll see your tag if you're from here or if you're a guest, and you'll park your car <laughs> somewhere in here. Here's the back, 
And over here in the corner, this tiny building from afar, <laughs> is the bookstore. It's called the Springs of Life Bookstore. And it's technically not the campus's bookstore, but it kind of is. But they sell a lot of our books that we use for our courses, so you can buy books there. Here is this like student rec room, the recreation center. Um, they have uh, like little instruments, ping pong tables, all of that in there. I've been in there a few times, but it's pretty fun, you know, on a Friday night if you're looking for something to do and you're finished with all your homework, like you should be. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah, it's just a fun place. Here are the offices. There's Stone Lodge. There's Stone Office. Here's the Bible College office. We go here and like pick up our packages or yes, come here. And then here are the mailboxes and the registrar's office and the mercy room, the grace room and the library are all down here and in there, just inside of there. Sorry you guys, I'm trying to keep this short and simple because um, <laughs> I'm trying not to run into anybody while I'm out here. Not that it's a bad thing, but yeah. Because I'm like one of the only ones besides my other friend who makes videos really. And I feel like it's not such a bogus thing anymore. But at the same time, I want to respect people's privacy. And like if they don't want to be in videos, I completely understand. By the way, this is gorgeous right here, this pathway. Oh, the other swimming pool too? I haven't actually been to this one, it's over here. Yeah, like just beyond here, there's a little door we can walk into. And it's right there. Sanctuary. Sometimes we'll have chapel in here, but they're actually at a time where they're like remodeling stuff. So we're not having chapel in there, but pretty soon we'll be in the auditorium, which I will show you guys actually where our classes take place here in a little bit. I think that maybe next we should head on over to see where our classes are. There's no classes taking place today, so yeah, we'll just head over there. You guys, we finally have some open space to talk. We're heading to our classes. One thing I will mention before, like if you're considering taking classes here, is that you should get there probably about like 15 minutes before you should start walking to your class. Just so that way you make sure you get in on time and you sign into your populi at the perfect time because like last thing you wanna do is get there too late because then you can't sign in. I know, it stinks. So, yeah, it's just like a little bit of a walk. It's not too far, but yeah, just getting there a little bit early helps. And then that way you're not like rushing to get to class because I've been in that situation before and got there like two minutes on the dot before. So it makes a difference. Yeah, but here we go. It's just kind of where the auditorium is. It's around a little far. It's not really too far. Uh, I keep getting hair in my mouth. Okay, so we made it over here, and here are the buildings. Here's classroom A, B, C, D. It goes like alphabetical order, but most of them are upstairs. They have some downstairs, but the auditorium is mainly down there. And you'll just walk to whatever classroom that they have you go in next. But yeah, there's um, a little bit behind, but it's mainly just another staircase. And then they have the laundry room. And there's a few other buildings here that I'm not sure quite what they are yet. Like that one. I'm thinking that maybe like a staff building or something. And then there's a tennis court. This court is like over here where these like gated fences are. But um, that's not really for here. It's more for like, um, like Marietta. Yeah, it's like a Marietta tennis court or something like that. You have to have a membership, I believe. And then up on the hills, there's like a neighborhood behind there. But some, like, way over there, off to, like, the side and stuff, they have, um, staff housing. It is the coffee shop. I'm not gonna go inside because I don't want to film people and I feel like everybody's here on the weekend. But, yeah, just over here, the OFC. It's really good. I get Americanos here. <laughs> yeah, but I love coffee. They have other drinks, though, like teas and whatnot. And here's the main lobby. Mainly retreaters come over here. But yeah, some seats out here, you can sit in. Pretty nice, pretty, pretty neat. And this is one of my favorite areas to come right here and like, I don't know, talk to my family or draw. <laughs> it's just a place where you can just vibe. Yeah, but 
that's pretty much that's it I know I didn't take you guys inside some of the buildings but some of them are not like in access unless it's the time to go in it like the sanctuary but yeah and the classrooms I don't want to like film in there either <laughs> get in trouble so there's another like a little nice spot over here you can come in there I feel like so awkward because everybody here knows that I have a YouTube channel, but <laughs> they all like pretty much know what I'm doing, I guess, but it's just weird. It feels like you're talking to yourself in front of other people, but I honestly enjoy talking to you. I feel like you guys are my close friends, like I said. <laughs> so yeah, and if you are from here and you're watching this, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure you guys know how weird I am. <laughs> oh, we, not that weird. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to show you, like,